guys, uh, I thought I won't record anything, but uh, I just got a call from the uh, service guys that my uh, Brembo calipers are here for the front. So I'm going to go uh, and get it changed, uh, change the Brembo, uh, change the uh, Hayes calipers uh, and put the Brembos on. Uh, it's not leaking or anything, but uh, you know how uh, these recalls are, uh, even a small percentage of uh, uh, bikes fail then uh, they need to change everything so I'm gonna go there and uh, take care of business and uh, that's what I thought I'll just uh, maybe do a quick uh, video for that uh, so let's see how that goes these are the BMW Hayes calipers it's supposed to be leaking or something I can't see anything on it but anyway We'll get them it's supposed to be bleeding or something if you don't uh, ride it for some time but it uh, looks all right to me but we'll see oh, we need to go and uh, re get them replaced here at the uh, Plano BMW here oh, cool bikes anyway let's go in and check it out Brembo calipers. Back to Brembo's again. Fantastic. And then we've got the tires uh, balanced just a bit because it was a little bit off, but uh, I think we should be good. It's all new, looking great. And uh, fantastic. I think we're ready for some adventure next week. Okay, guys, uh, I'm uh, back uh, from the uh, dealership. So, uh, looks like uh, the recall has been uh, taken care of and uh, I had a slight vibration in the uh, front tire at about uh, uh, 50 miles per hour. So, um, they kind of, uh, you know, rebalanced the tire so they took care of it. It's kind of gone. There's still a really, really delta vibration there. But I'm guessing that might be just because of the tire and I'm running uh, the GPS in the front and uh, the other one uh, adventure in the back. So maybe because of that, I don't know. So uh, anyway, that's been taken care of. And uh, yeah, we're just looking at the bikes there. I mean, the bikes are getting really expensive. You know, if you add up some options and stuff uh, other than the basic premium package, even the GS was coming to about 24 grand, 23, 24. Imagine. 23.1 was the price on my GSA when I bought it so I guess things are going up in prices <laughs> uh, yeah if you just uh, tick all the boxes I think they're kind of uh, adding up uh, you know earlier there were not too many cosmetic options in these bikes but now I think uh, they're starting to add those things up just to make some more money and uh, I believe because of the stop sale and everything, the next 10 GSAs have already been sold. <laughs> and uh, people are just waiting and then just picking it up like crazy. So, uh, yeah, the Bumblebee was looking good, but I guess it comes up with extra options. And uh, I'm not sure if 1700 bucks is worth it <laughs> for those colors and everything else. Uh, so, uh, that's where it is. But other than that, uh, you know, all the other bikes. Uh, looking good I sat on an 850 and man that thing is tall you know and it looks uh, as intimidating as the GSA so I'm not sure why anyone would <laughs> buy an 850 I'd probably uh, just get a 750 or a 310 maybe I don't know uh, so a cool uh, uh, Triumph scra uh, Scrambler decked out with uh, kind of a uh, uh, you know uh, gear with uh, for traveling and stuff like that with bags and everything. So that looked pretty cool. I might just throw that picture uh, on uh, in this vlog. <laughs> and uh, other than that, yeah, pretty good. I'm uh, all set now for my trip. Uh, hopefully, I get another couple of thousand miles before uh, for the next service. Then I show up here. Anyway, I don't want to keep this vlog too long. I will uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Thank you for watching. Hang loose and uh, ride safe as usual.